What's up guys, it's Jacko and I'm back with another video and I'm gonna talk to you today about my scariest moment ever. First off, I need you guys to realize that I am the biggest wimp ever. Like, I am the biggest girl ever to walk the planet. Like, I will not watch any scary movies. I think I've seen like two in my life and one of them was like Lion King, okay? I've seen Prom Night. I don't know, that's not that scary, it's about just a guy chasing chicks, I don't really know, whatever. But I will not watch a scary movie to save my life. If you ask me, Jacko, will you watch this scary movie for 10 grand? No, not enough. Because I will not sleep for two months straight. Literally, I'll have to go sleep in my parents' room and I'm 22 years old. I am just a big wuss, okay? I was in New York when this happened. The other time, I was in LA when I was 16 years old and that was the only time I've been to a scare house, like a haunted mansion or something, you know those where they dress up as characters and they jump out and try and scare you shitless. I was 16 when I first went to there and that time didn't go well, like I'll just give you a brief rundown of what happened then, I refused to go but I was like all my mates are going in, I'm just not going to be a pussy, let's do it, let's do it, I was like yeah, I'm not standing at the back and I'm not standing at the front. So I went in, some dude grabbed my um, leg and stood up next to me and I punched him in the face. Just socked him straight in the face. And then, um, yeah, we got kicked out. That was the last time I went to a scare house haunted mansion. Apart from two months ago when I was in New York. I was with all my friends. Um, it was half of us wanted to go and half of us didn't, right? So I was with Gabriel and Jordan and like Sebastian and all that. And they're like, yeah, let's go, bro. Gabriel was like, bro, dude, let's go. We're going in. Yeah, sick, bro. It's haunted house. It's going to be fun. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, nah, I'm not going. I do not want to go. I'm in America by myself. I don't need that scary element to my life right now. Like, I'm scared enough just being here by myself. I'm a pussy. Like, I am a straight pussy, right? So then we go in anyway because... I was like, you know what, I'm not standing out in the street. It's probably scary to stand out on the street of New York by yourself than in the haunted mansion with the others. Whatever happens in a haunted house, you do not want to be at the front and you do not want to be at the back because the front, you just see everything first and the back is just like creepy. It's like that feeling when you're swimming out of the water in a pool and you think a shark's going to eat you or you're running from your garage to your house and you think someone's chasing you. It's always the chasing feeling if you're at the back. So I was like, ah, 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 not going at the back. I will stand at the middle at all times and be holding people. I was grabbing someone else's shirt. Everyone was just grabbing shirts and I was like, yeah, I kind of feel secure. And I was crapping myself the whole time. We didn't want to go in. Finally, we went upstairs and they said this to us, whatever you do, you're not allowed to run, pretty much, and you're not allowed to ab abuse the people. Like, you can't punch them and stuff. So I was like, okay. I haven't had a real good track record for this, so I'm probably going to be in trouble here. Anyway, so we went upstairs. There's like 10 floors, right? There's like, you have to get all the way to the top. We got to like the third floor, and then this happened. So we go through this one room, and it's pitch black, and there's just dead things hanging from the ceiling everywhere. And I was like, ah, just running through like, I freaking hated it. I was so scared. I was like, nah, I am not dealing with this right now. I want to get through. I was like closing my eyes like, nah, hated it. Then some dude starts going like this with a chainsaw and Jordan Dow's behind me. And I sh you not, Jordan, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but he squealed like the loudest human you could ever hear. It was like squealing. And I turn around, I see this dude with a chainsaw going ring, ring, running after us with a mask. And I was like this, this, I'm out. I am out of here. So he, Jordan was screaming. I started screaming. We all start sprinting out of this haunted house. We're on like level three, by the way. We had heaps to go. And then they're like, nah, you got to go this way. You got to go this way. And we ended up getting booted out of the scare house. We got kicked out of a scare house for running. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you saw a guy with a ch live chainsaw going like this, chasing after you, you would run too. I'm not going to turn around and walk into him going, yeah, cut me in half, you know? My goodness, like, that's my initial reaction is to sprint because I'm not getting cut up. I just don't, there's no need to kick us out for it. I thought that was a bit rude, but anyway. So we literally lasted three levels and it was the scariest thing I've ever seen. It was pitch black, all of a sudden you see this guy with a bright white mask and a chainsaw and everyone's squealing. And I've, and I've seen movies and I was in America so I was like, this shit probably happens, like he was probably gonna kill us. 
Anyway, I just absolutely crapped myself. We went out and everyone was like, oh no, we got kicked out. Oh, that sucks. There was so much more to do. And I was like this, oh no, we got kicked out. That sucks. And I was so happy we got kicked out. Then I went and ate a big burger and my life was back to normal. Anyway, look, I thought I'd just like to share that little story with you guys because I don't know if any of you, how much you guys like scary haunted mansions, but I hate anything to do with scary stuff. I will sit there in my mind and I will play out the worst things that could possibly happen at any stage if I start thinking about it. And that's why I'm just a big pussy. Like, don't ask me to watch a scary movie if you want to hang out. Do not, because I will not watch one. Or if I do, I'll literally be facing the pillow the whole time and blocking my ears. Because nothing good can come from it apart from no sleep and terrorism in my mind. Anyway guys, I hope you liked it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will... And actually comment if you want to hear me tell more stories because I've got a few up my mind that from the past that I can tell you. I'm not sure if you guys want to hear storytelling videos or not, but anyway. Yeah, peace out. A-Town.